and now is named in honor of the First Lady of the state of Illinois, currently, of course, Lorella and Ryan. Here are the starters for the fifth. Number one is One in a Million Girl. No changes in here, by the way. One in a Million Girl is owned by Paula Smith, the Horseman's Financial Agency Incorporated, and Premier Racing Stable of Indiana and Illinois. Amanda Smith trains. Eric Ledford drives. Number two, Boxcar Girl, is owned by Joe Pratt, Harold Glasgow, and Ed Meyer, trained by Ron Van Der Rostein. The driver is Brent Holland. Number three, Mac Delight, owned by Carolyn Harris of Springfield, trained by Jim Ferguson, Michael Cox, the driver. Fox Valley Fallon, number four, owned by Nathan Patterson of Lake in the Hills, Illinois. Andy Patterson trains, Dave McGee drives. Number five, R. Janice J, owned by David Ryan of Viola and James Ryan of Alpha, trained by Irvin Miller. The driver is Andy Miller. Six, Fox Valley Coquette, the Illinois State Fair champion at Springfield, owned by Fox Valley Standard Breads of Sherman, trained by Tony Alanya, Dale Heitman in the bike. Number seven, Fox Valley Rachel. Owned by Jack Rednauer of St. Charles, Missouri. Trained by John Brown. Ross Leonard will drive. And number eight, McReba. Owned by John Nessa and Forrest Shoemaker of Altamont. Trained by John Nessa. The driver is Tim Tietrich. Post time in less than five minutes. The track is good. Currently on the infield tote board. Shown at seven to two in the wagering. Favorite status right now. For one in a million girl. Number one at four to five. Scratched from the State Fair eliminations and came back and paced in 153 and 4 in an Isoba undercard event later in the week at the Illinois State Fair. She tackles the State Fair champ today. Here they come. They're off and pacing. Fox Valley Fallon and R. Janice J. come out together for the lead. One in a million girl gets away third. And then Mac Delight fourth heading into the first turn. There goes Fox Valley Fallon to the lead by a length and a half. R. Janice J. goes second. One in a million girl third. Mac Delight is fourth. A gap of two more lengths to Fox Valley Coquette, who settles fifth. And then Boxcar Girl in sixth. Fox Valley Rachel seventh. McReba is eighth as they all go single file to the quarter mile mark and Fox Valley Fallon is on top by a length and a half 30 seconds flat for the opening panel. R. Janice J goes second by three. One in a million girl is third and then Mac Delight. A gap of four more lengths to Fox Valley Coquette who is sitting seven lengths off the lead but now begins to pick it up a bit as they race toward the half mile mark. Boxcar Girl, Fox Valley Rachel and McReba to complete the field. Everyone stays toward the rail. They're being led by Fox Valley Fallon by a length and a half. R. Janice J second by two. One in a million girl is racing in third. And here comes Fox Valley Coquette off the half in a minute, one-fifth. And Fox Valley Coquette moves up now with cover as one in a million girl comes off the rail from third. And then Mac Delight back toward the inside, followed by Boxcar Girl, who's in the outer flow. McReba toward the inside. Fox Valley Rachel last. The field well bunched, approaching the three-quarter. Fox Valley Fallon challenged by one in a million girl. Less than a length between them. R. Janice J is third toward the inside. And then Fox Valley Coquette is looming in fourth, but may have to come three wide off the three-quarters and one thirty and two-fifths. Fox Valley Fallon leads one in a million girl. Fox Valley Coquette toward the center of the track. R. Janice J back toward the inside and then Boxcar Girl. One in a million girl at the eighth pole now gets a short lead. Fox Valley Coquette, McReba goes very wide along with Boxcar Girl. Then R. Janice J looking for room. Coming to the line, one in a million girl. Mac Delight coming late. Fox Valley Coquette between them. Here's the line. And one in a million girl look to get it by a head from Fox Valley Coquette. Then Mac Delight third in 157 and four-fifths. The six, Fox Valley Coquette second. The three, Mac Delight third. And the five, R. Janice J fourth. And in the winner's circle, here's one in a million girl with Eric Ledford. Owned by Paula Smith, Horseman's Financial Agency Incorporated and Premier Racing Stable of Indiana and Illinois. Trained by Amanda Smith, Ledford drives 157 and four-fifths. As this Cole Muffler filly, bred by Runyon Smith and others in partnership, is now the official winner. A 1-6 exacta pays $7.20. Let's grab a quick word with Eric Ledford. How about it, Eric? The filly didn't come with a big, powerful punch, but she got it done. How about the stretch drive? Yeah, we only raced uh, pretty much the last eighth of a mile. Uh, practice was pretty slow. It was elimination day. That's uh, pretty much all we're worried about doing is uh, getting to come back for Saturday. Speaking of Saturday, 50 grand on the line. Good luck. Thank you. That's Eric Ledford. He's the winning driver. He pulls it out of the fire in deep stretch. 157 and four. The rundown is next. <laughs> 